ਅੱਜ ਤੋਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਕੰਮ ਤੂੰ ਸੰਭਾਲਨੇ ਆ ਪਰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਘਰ ਦਾ ਕੰਮ ਕੋਈ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਘਰ ਨੌਕਰ ਸੀ Hi everyone this is Silas from asianculturevulture.com we're back at home in London we're at the BFI South Bank we're here for a world premiere it's a British film called Little English what's this masala beans little english little indian about an Indian family in West London. It's part of the London Indian Film Festival which started on June 23rd and goes on to July 3rd. Um we were here yesterday for the red carpet opening gala film Gabara. Check out our socials for pictures and videos there. We're going to be on the red carpet now for Little English. Let's go and find out more. Oh my god, she's like a proper badass. It's just a massive honor and this is one of the best nights of my life because this film is ultimately what made for this audience and how often yeah. do we get to see that this is an amazing thing for me to watch i'm really excited to see what how an audience react to it you know it's very hard to get people to feel that that if you're asian and you put asian people in your films that it's commercial to support a british asian film is really important to us we're proud to be british it's amazing to have films like this featured at the festival here in london at bfi i feel like this is a good representation for british asian culture coming together and celebrating i'm looking forward to it uh, i saw the trailer i was hooked straight away i play simi in the film she's the bride from india who's just arrived in the uk and um Yeah, she thinks there's a certain lifestyle that she's going to have and it doesn't quite go according to plan. My character is Mindy and she's the sister-in-law and she's a bit of a troublemaker, but as the film progresses you'll understand why. So I play Bobby in the film who is a uh, a brilliantly qualified man from Punjab who gets married to the older daughter of this strange but wonderful household. Uh loved playing him and actually for the first time since Wild West I get to play a Sardar with a proper turban oh, and stuff right, so okay, yeah. that was a good 30 odd years ago so it's really nice to be able to represent kind of you know turban wearing Sikhs as well it's a british asian story unapologetically about us and who we are our customs our traditions not fitting in any stereotypes or boxes i've tried to make a film that is authentic british asian from the inside of the community which is where i where i'm where i'm from and i suppose that's still so rare on the screen this is like insane pinch me moment because like we never believed like we could be here and bring our film here it's like the biggest it's the best journey start for our film so yeah we're super excited it's such an honor to be here you know like this might be a pie <laughs> as soon as i get a chance to play someone that i can identify with you or can identify with a script that represents a community that have been in this country for so long that are a big part of it not just the financial aspect but just the 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 lifestyle and the and the the joyous celebrator of being british and south asian i jump at it for myself someone that's born and raised in england being indian yeah. um i think that it's a great representation and i feel like there isn't enough of that and so when there is i always want to show up and support and celebrate that it feels quite contemporary it feels you yeah, know some things in it are quite topical uh what's I mean to me it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a fun story it hopefully will make you laugh um and you know I I think it's there are important subjects in it and um, what do you think this film says about us as a community if anything I think it says that we sometimes don't always have the words to communicate with the people that we love the most or clumsy communicators in life with the people that really matter and it's about a family who are fractured and frayed and they're trying to find the words to have more of a cohesive family network it's nice to give a small little british independent film a platform like this supporting our local talent is so important and i want to see films like this on the big screen it shouldn't just be on streaming services you know all our people community have made like pockets and pockets of money they need to put it back into the arts and support the asian arts that's what i think film art everything all the people have done well in business they can't take it with them they need to support the arts for legacy what would you tell yourself back then that you've learned throughout this whole process this was a real struggle it was really difficult to make this film you know and i would say you've got to do it when you're actually ready we've all got lots of great ideas yeah. and we all think that we know everything and actually you actually got to grow and be ready to do something like this and so don't be afraid to take your time i think the interesting thing is that we didn't realize i think until one of the pr companies we were working with at the end said to us 
we think this is the first film where there's two brown romantic leads that are British. With this script, it was so special because it was it was like our story. Right. Yeah. British, Asian, like, it was our story. When we hear about these stories of, you know, Indian girls coming, getting married, become very submissive and sadly, it's not always a success story like your character. There's only certain stories that can be told and there's like a little, you know, there's this some idea that they're the Bichari, they come over and, and all, it's, it's a story about abuse or how it's gone all wrong. But, you know, she was so refreshing to read when I first picked up the script, script I was like, Oh my god, she's like a proper badass. <laughs> what was it like for you to, to be playing uh, Honey Bar? To be able to play a character like this, I'm, I feel so privileged, but then to see everyone come together and see the whole film, I've just it's just a massive honour. And this is one of the, the best nights of my life because this film is ultimately made for this audience and how often yeah. do we get to see that? I just wanted to know what was the inspiration for, for the film? Uh, the first inspiration is Slough, this forgotten uh, concrete town surrounded by the M25, which is full of diversity and love, and it has such a bad reputation. <laughs> and the second one is my mother sitting right there. The comedy was amazing. We were props to be because many years ago, this very gorgeous young man came in to audition for me. And, uh, <laughs> and did a, an amazing audition of a Bollywood dance, you know? And, and, and that is, that's who he is, you know? He was, flying that flag back then so beautifully and he's kept that authenticity thank you for that oh, so this is an amazing thing for me to watch clearly there's an audience clearly you have the talent Bye.